It was 10 years ago today that California voters recalled Governor Gray Davis and replaced him with Arnold Schwarzenegger. It was the first time in 80 years that a sitting governor had been recalled and it lit a wildfire of similar efforts nationwide. Here to talk about the latest push is Reed Wilson from the Washington Post GovBeat blog. Okay, Reed, Colorado, we've talked about two state Democratic state senators recalled, but it's not over there. No, it's not. Uh, recall organizers were just certified to, uh, in an effort to begin collecting signatures to recall another state senator who represents a district just north of Denver a Democrat? in the suburbs up there, a Democratic state senator named uh, Evie Hudek. Uh, now here's why this matters. First of all, in the other two districts in which Democrats were actually recalled, President Obama got close to 60% of the vote. In this district, he only got 52%. She only won re-election in 2012 by 300 votes. Uh, that's you know obviously a really seriously swing district. You put a recall on the ballot. If Democrats couldn't stave off uh, recall efforts in 60 plus Obama districts, it's going to be real tough in 52% districts. Now here's Go why. Ahead. Also matters. Those two losses that, they, that the Democrats sustained in September mean the state Senate is controlled by Democrats by an 18 to 17 vote margin. Flip one seat, you flip control of the state legislature. That's, see, you know, you read my mind. That's what I was going to ask you. Now, I want to get this stat right because you've been writing a lot about recall mm -hmm. politics and the increase of yeah. it. According to the National Conference of State Legislatures, there have been 38 state legislative recall elections in U.S. history. 20 of them, yeah. more than half, have been in the last decade. So the, the question here is, are we looking at a new normal? When it happened with Arnold Schwarzenegger, it was sort of out of the blue. Mm -hmm. But now we're in a different age? It, we're, we're in a different age for a couple of different reasons. First of all, everybody is paying more attention to politics uh, at all levels, not only at uh, the congressional level, but also <laughs> at, in state legislative levels. You can you know. with the internet. I, exactly. Yeah. It, yeah. All politics is local now. Even if you live in Georgia or New York City, you're, you can go play in the Colorado Senate elections. And and the second thing I think is, is states are becoming just as polar as the national uh, uh, sort of politics. You know, the, the Democrats and Republicans who used to get along and used to work well in state legislatures, you don't see examples of that. And the third thing I would say is technology is driving these kinds of, of recall efforts. Uh, targeting voters, uh, being able to figure out who is going to be uh, in favor of, of signing a recall petition. You can send recall uh, uh, supporters, re recall backers to basically every Republican in this district because you know who they are and you're going to get those signatures from your own base. In theory, it makes politicians more responsive to, to their constituents, but it's there's a hugely dangerous underbelly it, there, it, too. It does. I mean, this gets back to the fundamental debate of what is a representative supposed to do? Are they supposed to vote what they think is best for uh, the district, right. or are they supposed to vote in their districts, you know, however their district would vote? Well, this is this is seriously tilting everything towards the latter. I, I think we're in the coming age of the recall. Follow Reed. Follow GovBeat. Uh, it's at PostRead on Twitter. Follow go. him. Thanks, Reed. Thank you.